So now we have them in the bag. We can actually get a lot of information before we actually handle the animal, which is nice because it's diagnostic. So we can tell that it's got a really white belly and a brown back, huge ears and eyes, can you see that? And a bicolored tail. So this is a paramiscus manipulator. So the other thing I can tell is I'm looking at his or her belly and it's just pearly white. I mean, we haven't caught this animal before. The animals we're going to mark with a dime sized black spot on their belly. So someone's got the dye. And so you will, the dye is the same dye they use with the marbles. It just stains everything. So you have to be a little bit careful. Um, but you have a little paint brush in there. And when I get the camera on the bag, what I want you to do is just paint like a little dye sized black spot on the belly with a little paint brush. But then we're going to get how big it is. For that, we're going to use this thing called the spring balancer, the Sola. You guys should see. So it just weighs heavier as it goes down. Either way, you can read it as it goes down. Or the red line. Um, they kind of jump around a little bit. Yeah, I have to guess. 33. 33? Okay. So there's a column on the data sheet that says mouse <laughs> plus bag. Can I just try deer mouse for some um, Right, PN is permissive manipulated, and the little code is up at the top. Oh, okay. Now we're going to get him out. To get him out, I'm a lefty, so I'm going to let him run into my right hand. You like to run up, so you just let him run up like that. Once you get him up there, you just hold him in your, what is my bad hand. Peel back the thing like a banana, and then ask yourself, where are the teeth? Where are the teeth? Where are the teeth? Because you're going to grab them where the teeth are. Okay? I'm going to grab them by the scruff of the neck, behind, like that. <laughs> and we're going to look and see what sex it is. This is a female. Both the male and female have what's called the urogenital papilla, which is that little prongy thing right there in front of where the poop is coming out, which is the anus. And that distance between the urogenital papilla and the anus is short in females. And also you can kind of see there's a little purple spot in between the urogenital papilla and the anus. And that's the vaginal opening. And then the third cue is you can actually see she has some nipples. So that would be her female. So now we're going to... Um, let her go. The eyes are like oh, oh, we're going to mark her. Thank you. So just, yeah, a little black spot, uh, more vigorously, because you've got to rub it into her black fur. Yeah, a little bit more. About a dime size. There we go. Yeah. Okay, Buster. So now we're going to um, let her go. Assuming we'll catch other ones, but you guys can practice it. You wouldn't take picture? No, no good. And then we always let them go exactly where the trap was because their world is not like ours. She might live in a world that's only a few meters around. And so she doesn't know necessarily, you know, like if I set her down over there, she may never have been there in her whole life, so she'll be disoriented. But here she's been. And you'll see is that she'll pick up her trail and then all of a sudden she'll just take off and find her burrow. But right now she's just trying to figure out where am I? And then she'll figure it out and then she'll just take off. So.